I can't wait to see what my guests today have to say about all this. Say hello to from the Likud ruling party, member of the Israeli parliament, Sharon Haskell, author of The Industry of Lies and columnist at Yediota Ronot, Ben Dror Yamini, and the secretary general of the Merits Opposition Party, Toma Resnick. Thanks to all of you for coming on the show. Hello. Let's get a reaction first, Sharon. What, what's, what, what do you think about the story? Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, it's easy to come and say, you know, first, uh, uh, you know, someone from the left uh, is attacking something that some, some of, one of us said. Uh, in the right, and then when we answer back, uh, they act like victims. Okay, um, look, there's there might be a slight uh, problem with the translation, because the word that uh, Rotem Sela yeah. have used uh, is the word that described the state of Israel as a national home for all of its citizens. Now, Israel is the national home of the Jewish people. It doesn't mean, as the Prime Minister said as well, that Arabs and any other kind of minority or okay. background or religion don't receive equal and full rights. It seems like you're, saying, rights, you're using the, uh, the lost in translation uh, excuse. No, not it, the lost in translation, would, but, but, the, but, but the Israel is the national home of the Jewish people, like many other lost countries. Lost in translation, ben George? Well, I must uh, admit that I have a problem with the two sides. Why? Because Israel is both Jewish and democratic. I mean, if you separate, Israel will not be, be democratic, and mm -hmm. Israel will not be Jewish. I want them both, because the only one way to stay as a democratic state is to stay as a Jewish state. We're back on the spin room with my guest, Likud member of the Israeli parliament, Sharon Haskell, columnist at Yediota Chronot, Ben Joriamini, and Secretary General of the Merits Party, Tomer Resnick. Tomer, let's let you chime in now. Go ahead. Well, I have to say that the question is uh, the status of Israeli Arab citizens, and to be more exact, the question of equality in our society. It seems to be that Netanyahu, whenever reaches a um, danger to his power, uses the... Um, attack on his Arab Israeli citizens and I have to say that uh, Rotom Sela was correct. It, 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 it didn't lose in translation. It was exactly what you meant that indeed Netanyahu wishes to divide and separate between Israeli Arab citizens and Jewish population in order to gain more votes. Um, it's quite clear it didn't, didn't, didn't get lost in translation. It's simply the way it is. Absolutely not. I mean, you, you can go and you can ask Benny Gantz how they are uh, they, they are not saying a word about maybe they will be willing to sit with the Arab parties. They refuse to say. I don't say there's something wrong with but it, the, ah, but, I but, say, saying, but I it, say that, that? They, they, they are saying that they will not sit with the Arab parties. So, they are saying that very clearly. So it's easy to come and in, in, to the prime minister and saying, oh, he's saying that because of one motive, but then you go to the opposition I, I, on the left. They're saying the same thing, okay, but it's okay when they're Benjamin, saying as, it. Yeah, Benjamin, well, go ahead. Well, as someone who is in the center yeah. right now, <laughs> <laughs> not uh, a right wing, not a left wing. And actually, there is a contradiction, we have to admit. There is a, a very interesting contradiction because this government, the right wing government, uh, invested in the Israeli Arabs more than any other government Absolutely. before in the last 10 years. We have to admit it. I mean, numbers are talking. Okay. Numbers are quite clear. From the other side, this government, yes, the language of the government, I don't like. The national, the nation Maybe state law, for yeah. example, which was not necessary at all. Israel is a Jewish state anyway. Okay. So there is a huge difference between the language and the reality. I want to let Tomer react before we go on. Move on yeah, quickly. I, I wouldn't separate between language and reality as language is part of the reality. Mm. And the reality is that this government uh, is clearly targeting the Arab Israeli population for uh, political and electoral okay. gains. That and is the reality. Wanna... It's a tactic that Netanyahu used in 2015 in the last elections when he said our voters are coming in masses in, by buses to vote and thus won the elections. Right. It's what he did. He apologized for that, by the way, afterwards. Yeah, and, but, and okay. now again, he loses. And again. Apologize after the I want to let you hear something uh, that was said today at a memorial for the late Prime Minister Menachem Begin. Netanyahu pretty much stood firm uh, with those comments. And then President uh, Reuven Rivlin also spoke spoke today and chimed in about the status of Arabs in Israel. Let's have a listen to both of them. Begin believed, as I believe, that individual rights belong to every citizen in the state of Israel, Jews and non-Jews. But there is no doubt that this is the nation state of the Jewish people and theirs alone. The flag is blue and white. The anthem is Atikva. The right to immigrate to Israel is reserved for Jewish people who have no other country. They have no other country. Begin understood that. 
There aren't and there won't be any second-class citizens. There are no second-class voters. We are all equal in elections. Jews and Arabs are citizens of the state of Israel that even 120 members of the Israeli parliament cannot change its character as a Jewish state, and 120 members of parliament cannot change its character as a democratic state. And then the main rival uh, from the blue and white list, uh, Benny Gantz, uh, said today uh, that, uh, let's be honest, Begin uh, would not fit in with Netanyahu's Likud. He would be considered an enemy of Israel. He said in a Facebook post, what would Netanyahu's uh, false and inciting campaign videos look like to Begin today? What's your reaction to Gantz's comments on Netanyahu? Well, uh, you know, I don't know whether I should laugh or I should cry. Uh, I mean, the opposition, the leader of the left, used to always call Menachem Begin in names used to call him a murderer, used to call him a corrupt. You know, all of these assaults on him are, are you know, uh, suddenly he's the hero, suddenly he's the angel of, the, of this camp. You know, I don't buy it. Mm. On the second hand, from what we've heard, and it's absolutely true, here in Israel, we don't have second-class uh, uh, citizens, okay? Obviously, there's minority. There's minorities in every country. But here in Israel, we are committed to see how we bring them to a higher place. It means that what Ben Yamini said before about investing the most, uh, I mean, we're the government who have invested in numbers. You can measure it. Right. The most amount of money and resources built courts, built police station, schools, roads it's in their communities. And so coming, coming and saying that we treat them like that is absolutely incorrect. It's false. What, what Sharon misses is the Likud government is the only government that tried to delegitimize minority parties and their uh, possibility to be a part of a political coalition. Absolutely this, not. This that, is not how we Netanyahu. look at them. And if, you know what? You know if, what? I'm no fan neither of Jabotinsky nor of Begin. But let's recall Jabotinsky, the founder of the Likud movement, and yet, I, I'm not one of his followers. Yeah, he said that he, he wouldn't mind having an our prime minister. Okay. Would you mind? And uh, look, we have minorities in our party as well. Wait, Don't would you forget. Have, uh, I asked you specifically, if, would, you, would you be okay with an Arab prime minister? Look, if... if simply would, yes, no. Obviously, I, I would prefer someone different to be, but if he would be voted democratically, obviously this is a, a, a decision of the majority. Why would you prefer so? Because he's Arab? No, not because he's Arab, because the Arab party that he's talking about are different no. types of Arab that Can I'm talking question, about. Another no, 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 question, hold on. I want to finish I because I want to finish my sentence because otherwise it will be misunderstood. Okay? We have Arabs in our party as well. Christians, Muslim, Druze. How many Bedouin. do you have in the top 30? Uh, in the top th uh, 30, uh, we have one at the moment. Who? But we have, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Fatin Mullah. Okay. No, he's number 32. He's number 32. He's number in the 32. top 30, you don't okay. have anyone. So in the top 30, we How might not have... How does that have... the country? Excuse me. Last government, we had the first Druze minister in the entire history of Israel. He is not the first. But okay. he, okay. Hold on. You didn't let me finish my okay. sentence, finish and so I, I, yes. I want to finish it. Okay. If we would have someone from it's a party... Funny, that is a party that is a Zionistic party, a party that wants to coexist Jews and Arab. He would be accepted. The Arab parties that exist today are the Arab parties who promote more hatred and more violence against Jews. That okay, kind of Arab Prime way Minister, okay, I will not accept. But okay. someone from a different I understand. type, I understand. Have others way in. I'm not going to escape your question. Which is, it, which is, uh, can a, uh, an Arab Prime Minister be in Israel? Yes. Let can? me tell you. Yes. Let, let, no. so let me answer. <laughs> okay. Let me answer. I'm not going to ask. Uh, look, uh, you know, Israel is a nation state, just like most European countries. Now, you will not ask in Croatia the, the politicians or the journalists, is it going to be a Slovenian uh, Prime Minister? Once we had one state, Yugoslavia, it fell, fall, fell apart. It collapsed. You don't have it anymore. You have seven nation entities. Now, each one is going to choose according to the majority of the state. It's not, it has nothing to do with democracy. I mean, this is the nature of the state, and it's okay. Can now, you use, wait. Can you use your wait. example of Europe, just a second? Just a second, and I think you'll, you'll answer it as well. If a European prime minister, if, if a French prime minister said, my rival, he's going to form a majority bloc with Jews, would that not be racist? It is. It, I'll tell you what is the difference. There is a huge difference because, because Jews in France or in Sweden or in wherever they are, they are part of the state. They don't have any problem. They don't have a leadership 
they don't have the leadership like the leadership, the leadership, I'm not sp speaking about the people, the, like the leadership like uh, uh, Raid Salah or uh, uh, Jenin or uh, Zobi, uh, Zobi or uh, okay. Zahlaka or yeah. others. That they are anti, blatant anti Zionist. It's not the same. Fair, first of all, be faithful. And some of them, sorry to say, we have to put it on the table. Yes, Israel is a democracy, and that's why we enable them to be in the Knesset. But to that's tell you, generous. but to tell you, but okay. to tell you that uh, they can be uh, part of the government, I'm sorry. Yes, they right. are against the country, so they can wait. Okay. I have to say, uh, it's easy to forget, but Rabin's government was supported by uh, Arab parties. They were not in the, in the government, but they did support the government from the outside. And I say, that, and I, I say it as a Zionist. It is our obligation, not only moral, but also political and uh, both moral, to have a partnership with the Arab citizens and Arab political parties. And I don't agree with most of them on some issues, uh, with, and they do on other issues, but it doesn't matter. They are part of our society, they are equal part of our society. And no, let, they, let me make it clear, let, I'm, let, not, let, I'm, not against, I'm not against they, them, they, attempt, I'm not, they, they attempt, are against they attempt, me. They attempt to delegitimize both them and the left as traitors, as foreigners, you know, to exclude them in order to uh, but round we're not, up. We're not trying to exclude them. We had a of party called Balad, where one of the of, of the member of Knesset, Basel Gatas, went to in prison, went to prison, and assisted a terrorist organization with with bringing material and funds into their prison. They are acting against the country. They are but acting no against the Jewish that. people, but assisting no, in the murder and was, hatred no, no, against the no, Jewish no, people. No, Hold on, so I'm not no. speaking necessarily about the Arab uh, parties, but what I'm saying oh, oh, is that those look, parties look your, are no, labeled no, 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 as anti-Israeli no, parties. And my problem is not the fact that they're Arab, but the fact that they're anti-Israeli. Look, okay, look, 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 uh, look at the Likud's the electoral campaign. You, you can see the videos online. Each of the videos says, Gantz will form a government with merits in the Arab parties. This, these are your messages. Okay, so at least don't be ashamed of them. I'm not ashamed. You, okay. I said it's so true. You are, you are, you are, I'm not yeah, okay. saying it. You are, you are trying to delegitimize de both the left and the Arab Israeli parties. Absolutely and that, not. And I'll tell you something like yes. this. Most you know what? The, uh, I'll tell you, I, I just want to yes. say something like this. Quickly, you know what? Enjoy. In Quick, the best families in Israel, you have left and right within the okay. side of the family. Yes. Well, I, I tell you, no one from the left is a traitor. No one is 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 a, is a monster or anything like that. On the contrary, I love you and I do believe, I, and I do believe your intention is the best intention of the state of Israel. But, but I wrong. disagree with you. I'm allowed to criticize you. I'm allowed to think that okay, you're wrong like and yeah, yeah. that your solutions are dangerous to our country. Okay, and I can go, say let's, it. Let's go back to the Arabs. First of all, majority of Arabs are a total majority completely faithful, completely to want to integrate in the Israeli society, and they do, by the way. And you see what happened in the last 10 years, they do integrate. There is a problem with the leadership. You know why? Because most of the Israeli, uh, uh, most, most of the Arab leaders, not all of them, but most of them, identified with who? With uh, uh, Gates, who is now in jail. I have a problem with the leadership. I don't have a problem with the people. We have to put it on the table. We have to be with open eyes in order to understand the situation. Yes, it's complicated. Yes, we have to encourage Arabs to be more and more Israelis to integrate yeah. them. But we I'll do let, have a I'll problem you, with and the I'll leadership. I'll let you answer this. And you know, that, I, when we go back to what the Prime Minister said, that's the point of Israel to begin with, isn't it? To be the home of the Jewish people, a safe haven mm -hmm. for the Jewish people. Yeah. So where did he get, what did he get wrong? You, you have to see that there is a big difference between being the uh, safe haven and also, yes, a Jewish home in the sense of uh, where you have a collective self uh, um, identity, identity yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that it does not contradict equal citizenship and status to the, all of Israel's citizens, Jews, Arabs, Muslims, Christians, Jews, Baha'i, Cherkessim, mm. and w whatever. And that is the difference, the main difference between the Zionist movement as it began, as this country was founded in its uh, Declaration of Independence, and between what we see today. This is the difference between the Declaration of Independence and, nation, and the nation-state law. When Sharon and Benjo are talking about uh, deeds that were done I, I, by Balad, 
Look, uh, look uh, I'm not, I'm, party members. I, I'm not who, going who, to defend the, especially not Basra Ghattas, but I have to say okay. one, one thing which is clear. Yeah, we have to wrap it up quickly. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't accept this method of having loyalty test uh, to politicians or to uh, anyone else. No, it, I, I, I had, I had, <coughs> wait. No, I'm not talking about criminal deeds. Quickly, we have okay, he was, he was tried and uh, we have no uh, disagreement. He was tried and uh, serving his okay. punishment. But to try to put on uh, leaders of uh, minority uh, political parties on this loyalty okay. test, I don't accept this 20, method. 10-second response to that. No loyalty test, of course, is what he uh, said. Obviously, there's no loyalty test, and I call many more Arab, okay. Arab Israeli to come and join the Likud party. Okay, they have a are. place in, in our party well, as well. Hopefully, the top 30, they'll have a place one day. Go ahead. I want the Arabs to be integrated in the Israeli society. We are in a process of integration. We have to be proud of it. And I have news for you. Quickly. Most of them are proud to be Israelis, okay. according to all the polls uh, uh, concerning all the right. Israeli arts. That's, that's all the time we have. I want to thank my guests, Sharon Haskell, Ben-Jory Yamini, and Tomer Resnick. Thank you very much. It's been a great discussion. And